Today we are reading Memoirs of a Parent. Yes, by Devin Skillian and illustrated by Tim Bowers. If you have a copy of Sprinkles, go grab it and follow along with us. You like the cover? I love it. The doggy and the kitty look pretty different. They look story. different than the other stories by this author. Yeah, maybe they're new. Probably want a cracker. All right, I always like to read the dedications, and we have two here on the first page. To my cherished friend, Roger Wallace, the only guy who reads my books as often as I do, Devin. And to the fond memories of my grandpa and his African gray parrot named Chico, Tim. Hmm, does this look like somebody's house? No, does it look like a pet shop? <gasps> you speak? There's a birdie peeking, there's a doggy, a kitty, and what are they looking at? What are they looking at? Seeds. Seeds that the birdies are eating. And you're right, by the sign it says clothes. Hmm, this looks like it might be a type of pet store, yeah. Day one. Wilbur's pet shop is closed today. Good. No rude people staring into my cage. I just sit and chat with TikTok. We're the only parrots here, and apparently the only talkers. The dogs just yap all day. The fish don't even try to say anything. I think the cats might be able to talk, but they never do. Ha! <laughs> Tick-tock! It's a cute name. <laughs> day two. Wilbur's pet shop is open today. Bad. The place is packed. Lots of strange people, and they're all talkers. They seem to think my name is Polly and that I want a cracker. Uh, no and no. Day three. What is with these people? They keep asking, Polly want a cracker? That is terrible grammar, by the way. TikTok says I should just try to enjoy the attention. Please, I'd rather gargle a pine cone. <laughs> Day four. I'm exhausted. Today a guy spent an hour asking me my name. I kept telling him, Brock, I said, Brock, Brock, Brock. He looked very disappointed. I guess he wanted it to be something else, like Polly. Day five. He's back. His name is Todd, and he won't leave me alone. TikTok says one day I may have to go home with Todd. Yes, apparently I'm for sale. That's a heck of a thing to find out. Go home with Todd? Please, I'd rather eat a pile of stink berries. Day six. TikTok was right. Todd handed Wilbur some money and is taking me home. This is terrible. TikTok says I need to keep an open mind and that it could be very nice. Maybe Todd lives in a beautiful rainforest with lots of bananas and butterflies. So that would be cool. Sprinkles in the other stories. A little girl was keeping them, but now there's a guy that's keeping them. Keeping who? The parents. Oh, there was? Yeah, there's a, there's a little girl in the other stories. After you're watching this video, find those videos. Oh, you mean the little girl in the stories before, in the house? Yeah. Yeah, how is this story different though? Is this taking place in a house with someone's pets? Oh, but look! There. Oh, on day seven, you're right. There's a little goldfish. Do you think that this Todd might be the dad of that little girl in the other stories yeah. when he was younger? Oh, let's find out. No, Todd lives in a tiny house near a freeway. No bananas, no butterflies. And guess what he does first? He gives me a cracker. Seriously? Even worse, Todd is learning to play the ukulele. He sounds horrible. Do I have to stay here? Please, I'd rather kiss a rattlesnake. Day eight. Todd gave me another cracker today. And just as I was about to throw it back at him, I realized there's a toaster right next to my cage. 
When Todd wasn't looking, I dropped the cracker into the toaster and then snatched it out of midair when it popped back up. These things are actually pretty good when they're warm. Day nine. Todd came in today with another cracker. He said, say thank you. So I did. Kroop, I said. No, he said very slowly. Thank you. So that's it. He wants me to speak his language? Fat chance. Kroop, I said. He sighed and sat down to play his ukulele. Ooh, look at his face. He does not, Todd does not look happy Does at all. Does he look happy? Nope. No. Day 10. Here we go again. Todd has his language and I have mine, only it's worse now because he's decided my name is Echo. Echo, he says. Brock, I say. Echo, Brock, Echo, Brock. This goes on for hours. Dude, give it up. Day 11. Today, Todd took me back to the pet shop. Well, he complained about me to Wilbur. I complained about him to TikTok. It's awful, I said. He won't even learn my name. But you've got a nice cage, asked TikTok. Yes, very nice, I said. And he keeps you warm and dry? Yep, I said, warm and dry. And he feeds you? Um, yes, I said. Toasted crackers, some figs, pretty good. TikTok said, he sounds nice. Maybe he's just not that bright. He can still be your friend. Please. I'd rather wear a sweater made of ants. Eh. Ugh. Itchy. Day 12. So get this. After two hours of Todd's English lessons, he said, Echo, maybe you're just not that bright. What? Not that bright? I speak 17 languages. I can name all the moons of Jupiter. I can count to a zillion backwards. Twice. Todd said, It's okay, Echo. You can still be my friend. Keep your fingers away from my beak, pal. That's all I can say. Ooh, it's getting a little feisty, huh? Yeah. Do you think they're ever going to get along? Maybe. I don't Maybe. know. Maybe. Let's find out. Day 13. Todd gave up pretty quickly today. It's pretty frustrating. He's learning his ukulele, but he doesn't really want to learn his parrot. His loss, I'm not saying anything. My beak is sealed. Day 14. I'm sitting here eating a fig and listening to Todd play. He's actually getting pretty good. I know, I know, music and figs, how can I complain? But Todd either needs to learn to talk like me or he can take me right back to Wilbur. I could explain this to him, but please, I'd rather set my feathers on fire. Day 14. I gotta tell you something. Oops. The funny part about this what? was yesterday he said I would rather send my feathers on fire. And now what's going to happen on the next what? day? Everything is smoky. Uh-oh. What day are we on? Day 14. What day? Day 15. Good heavens. I nearly set my feathers on fire. Today changes everything. Todd went to bed last night and I decided to toast a cracker. I waited for it to pop up and waited and waited, but it never did. Suddenly a lot of smoke started pouring out of the toaster. There was no keeping quiet any longer. Todd, 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 I hollered. He woke up, smelled the smoke and just ran out of the house. Sure, save yourself, I thought. Toaster just kept belching smoke into my cage. Suddenly, Tom ca Todd came running back into the kitchen. I thought he was coming back for his ukulele, but I was wrong. He came back for me. Todd reached right into the smoke and unplugged the toaster. He grabbed my cage, took me outside, and started fanning fresh air at my face. He'd saved me. I couldn't believe it, but he'd saved me. He pulled me out of my out of the cage and said. Echo, are you okay? Are you? Are you okay? What else could I say? Thank you, I said. He looked at me and leaned closer. What? Echo says thank you, I said. 
tears swelled up in his eyes and a huge smile took over his sweet, goofy face. You're welcome. You are so very welcome, he cried. Then Tad said, You're smarter than I thought. I said, You're a lot smarter than I thought. He wiped the soot off my face. That was nice. He sat on his he sat me on his shoulder and we watched the moon come up while we waited for the smoke to clear. Things are different for Todd and me. He's still playing that ukulele, but now he plays and I sing in his language. And that's okay. He can still be my friend, my best friend. Todd and me, we're staying together for keeps. Please, there's nothing I'd rather do. Thanks for joining us, Sprinkles. If you like story time with Mommy, make sure you hit like, subscribe, and hit that bell. And if you want to keep in touch with us, you can reach us at Instagram Mirabel on <laughs> TV. Yes, and Daddy will put that on the screen below. And if you want to become a member, hit that join, join button, button. <laughs> down below. And of course, check out our merch. Well, not that merch, but this merch is an example. Thanks for joining us. Bye, Bye. Sprinkles. You said you didn't care if I was a parent or girl. If you have a cat. <laughs>